everyone it's Charlie here from Charlie's Dolls and Collectibles and I wanted to show you this lovely little collectible doll that I've got um, in my collection. Um, she is a Japanese doll, um, she's a stockingette doll and she's completely fabric. Um, she is from the 1960s, she's in a really lovely condition. She's been kept in this display box. Um, she hasn't been taken out. Uh, she's a really, really cute, cute doll. And these were very popular with tourists in the 1960s. So they were brought back from Japan as tourist dolls. Uh, and you can see why. Because they have absolutely really, really cute features so she's got these great big eyes which are hand painted on and sometimes you can find that these types of dolls they're actually stitched on and embroidered but in this case they are very tidily and masterly painted on um, so all her features are painted and she's got um, woolen hair which I think was blue, um, but it's it's faded to to white, which I think actually suits her. Um, and then she's got this felt yellow hat on with a turned up um, turned up at the front. Um, this lovely little felt bright red daisy shaped flower on the side. Um, she's got also these little daisies on her, her top, this lovely oversized collar top that she's got and then she's got a little tutu which I think used to be pink. I can't see properly whether the red, she's got a little red top underneath the collar so it may be that the red has bled into the the skirt the tutu so it may have been white or pink i'm not 100 percent sure but it's very delicate cotton cotton material with a sort of mesh underskirt and it's short and she's got these lovely long long legs which um i probably got um wiring in so you can bend them. I've had these dolls before and they usually are quite flexible and bendy but I have never taken her out so I'm not sure whether they they will or not. Um, and these dolls are quite significant because after the war the Japanese started to make more western style features and western style dolls. Um, I'm lucky to get her in such good condition because you'll see you see quite a few of these dolls on eBay and they're discoloured or a little bit tatty or they've got um, missing accessories um, but I was really lucky to find her um, and I keep her in a, a glass disc display cabinet and she's got a little dog as well a little pipe cleaner dog um, which is poodle which is a poodle he has fallen over um, and he has sadly got a little bit of rust from the wire um, that's quite common with old pipe cleaner shaped animals and whatnot um, but I love her cute little features and the colours as well that they've used with this doll She's very unique and she comes with a little stand as well so if you were to take her out she's got a little wooden stand and it's green like I suppose grass would be if she's walking along with her dog. So thank you very much for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed that and 
and um, I hope to show you some more of my vintage dolls um, that I've got in my collection as well. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and press that like button. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.